there are many variations of the spanning tree protocol. Some of them are compatible with others, while the rest are not. Some run on all switches, whereas the remaining run only on particular switches. In this video, we will discuss and understand these variations. Let's start with the first variation. A long ago, a company called Digital Equipment Corporation created the original version of STP for its switches as a proprietary protocol. Since it developed STP as a proprietary protocol, other vendors could not implement it on their switches. Later, IEEE created an open standard version of it. Since IEEE developed it as an open standard protocol, all vendors were allowed to use and implement it on their switches. However, it has some functional limitations. For example, it takes a long time to converge and runs only one instance per switch. To overcome these issues, Cisco developed a new variation of STP. It is called PVST. Unlike STP, which runs only one instance per switch, PVST runs one instance per VLAN. Cisco built it on STP. It uses the same terminology, concepts, and algorithm STP uses but provides some additional features. You can say PVST is a combination of STP and Cisco-specific features. These features help PVST to speed up convergency. Before we understand these features, let us discuss the remaining variations. IEEE first standardized STP in 1990. At that time, convergency was not a matter of concern. Convergence is the time STP takes to react to a network change. For example, if a link goes down, convergency is the time STP takes to enable the backup link. STP takes 50 seconds to select and use the backup links. Most modern networks can't afford a 50-second delay on every network change. If the network has a flapping link, this delay can bring the entire network down. IEEE updated its STP to reduce the convergency time and meet modern network requirements. The updated version is called Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol. Most modern networks use RSTP instead of STP. Cisco also updated its variation. It is called RPVSD. RSTP is the upgraded version of STP, while RPVST is the upgraded version of PVST. IEEE addressed the convergence issue in RSTP but did not add a feature to support VLANs. Like STP, RSTP also runs only one instance per switch. Running only one instance per switch does not optimize a multi-VLAN network. To support the VLANs, IEEE created a separate version of STP. It is called MSTP. Now we have briefly discussed all STP variations. Let's compare them and understand their similarities and differences. We have five STP variations, IEEE's STP, Cisco's PVST, IEEE's RSTP, Cisco's RPVST, and IEEE's MSTP. First, let us understand the similarities between these variations. All of these create and use a virtual topology to find and remove switching loops in the network. All of these elect a root bridge and use it as the focal point of the virtual topology. All variations use the same rules and tiebreakers for the root bridge election. Besides the root bridge, all remaining switches become non-root bridge switches in all variations. All variations select only one root port to reach the root bridge. They all use the same rules and tiebreakers to select the root port. All variations select only one designated port for every local segment or end device. They use the same rules and tiebreakers to select the designated port. After selecting root and designated ports, all variations block the remaining ports to remove loops. All variations run all ports through a few states. During these states, they learn the network topology, flush cam table entries, select root and designated ports, and block the ports causing the loops. These are the similarities between these variations. Now, let us understand the differences. PVST and RPVST are Cisco proprietary protocols. These protocols run only on Cisco switches. STP, RSTP, and MSTP are open standard protocols. These protocols run on all vendor switches. PVST, RPSVT, and MSTP run one instance per VLAN. STP and RSTP run one instance per switch. STP and PVST reach convergence in 50 seconds. RSTP, RPVST, and MSTP reach convergence in 10 seconds. STP and PVST use four states, blocking, listening, learning, and forwarding to reach convergence. RSTP, RPVST, and MSTP use three states, discarding, learning, and forwarding to reach convergence. STP and PVST use the CAM table's aging feature to remove old entries. They use the listening state for this purpose. RSTP, RPVST, and MSTP flush CAM table entries in the learning state. 
PVST and RPVST use port fast and ether channel features to speed up convergence. Since these are Cisco specific features, RSTP, RPVST, and MSTP do not use these. In addition to root and designated ports, RSTP, RPVST, and MSTP also use alternate and backup ports. The alternate port helps them reach the root bridge when the root port fails. Similarly, the backup port helps them reach the local segment when the designated port fails. Convergence is slow in STP. Port fast and ether channel help PVST to reach convergence a bit faster. Using alternate and backup ports, flushing CAM table entries, excluding the listening state, and reducing the time of remaining states make convergence fast in these variations. That's all for this video. If you have any suggestions, comments, or feedback about this video, please share them in the comment section given below.